Welcome back. We're here looking at the, the in the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 16, 2022. If you like support John, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have been basically all over the place today. We dropped all the way down towards 11.3K and rallied all the way up towards 11.7K. So the big news of the day is that the uh, Federal Reserve increased interest rates by 75 basis points and they haven't basically done that since the early 1990s. And um, at this current stage, the market did not react um, in the bearish manner that most people expected it to do. Uh, probably one of those reasons is because we have sold off significantly and the uncertainty in the market is kind of basically baked into the market at this current stage or the bad news that going forward is kind of baked in and the market kind of knows where we are heading to and and therefore we may see um, see the market build up basically a bottom and this should also be the perfect place to basically build this bottom right above the 200 moving average and we have also seen this is historically that we have reached down towards the 200 moving average and then started rallying we saw it back here in 2018 2020 we can go all the way back to war towards 15 and also uh, down here at 11 and uh, the 200 moving average has been an area if we even though we haven't hit the 200 moving average but just above the 200 moving average an area where buyers come back in and buy to the upside and this is starting to look like a hammer and uh, will be really interesting to see what basically happens um, the next two uh, to three months it, um, to September usually September is a terrible uh, month for stocks and usually it dips if you look at the RSI you can also see that it is at 31 in the weekly which is very low so cast again, uh, MACD are still bearish, but it is looking more um, uh, more positive at this current stage. So if we manage to take out these previous highs here, roughly 12.8, then it's very likely that we'll go uh, continuing higher. So if you look at the daily back, uh, first of all, it is the 20 simple moving average right here that we have to take out. We also need to take out these this bottom here which we found uh, major resistant today when we rallied so breaking above the 20 simple moving average we have the 50 going this way that is around the same area of this top here so breaking above the 50 moving average and then that opens the door towards the 200 moving average which is traveling in this direction if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and the RSI is also bullish at this current stage. So if we take out the lows here, then we may head towards the 20 simple moving average, then to the, towards the 50, and that should offer massive amount of re resistance. Breaking above here, and then we have the 200 moving average um, that we may go rallying towards as we have sold off significantly. If we break below the lows of yesterday, then the 200 moving average in the weekly chart, that is probably where we're heading towards um, in the next few weeks. So let's look at the, the S&P 500. Very similar here, but we gave most of the gains back. So we rallied up towards the 3,837 and we ended up at the 3,791. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and so is the RSI. So we need to take out the lows right here in order to get to head towards that simple moving average. And then we have the 50 moving average here as well, and the previous highs as well. So we may see this continue rallying up towards the 20 and the 50 before heading back down. If we can manage to break above or close above the 50 moving average then we have the 200 moving average that we basically are going to test most likely also here if you look at the weekly we are far away from the 200 moving average not as close as the nasdaq is so we may see more downside in the s p 500 uh, compared to the to the nasdaq going forward but also here 200 moving average has offered 
massive amount of uh, support in the past. We see it right here. We can also see it here. Of course, the pandemic went true, but after that, we have rallied. So V-shaped recoveries have been the norm for the last uh, 11, 13 years when it comes to the weekly, uh, the 200 moving average in the weekly chart. So if you look at the, the Dow Jones, go look at the daily first. Also here, we rallied up towards 30.9K uh, uh, and then ended up at 30.6K. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is becoming bullish and RSI is bullish. So momentum is changing, but still we need to take out this area in order to go towards the 20 simple moving average. After that, the 50 moving average and then the 200 moving average. So rally here or the 50 or best case scenario, probably towards the 200 moving average. Break above here, that's the same for the NASDAQ and the S&P and the, and the Dow. And we're probably looking at the trend change and this bear market has basically stopped. But we have, at the moment, we have been making lower lows and lower highs. And that is, of course, a very, uh, very shine. But given the fact that we, uh, the Federal Reserve increased interest rate by 75 basis points a day and the market did not fall off a cliff, and then we may just see this continue rallying up towards this trend line and breaking down. So let's look at the European markets. There. So nothing really happened here. It went back and forward and ended basically uh, where we started. Uh, we have basically a bo double bottom here and uh, breaking below this, and then that opens the door to this low here as well. To the upside, we may see this being the very top as this is also a double uh, top here. So if we rally to the upside, then roughly 14,700 uh, should be where we'll find resistant. But breaking below this, that opens the door all the way down towards 12.4. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and so is the RSI. So momentum is kind of changing to the upside. If you look at the Wix, Wix is uh, pulling back after we basically tested the same area that we have been testing uh, twice before. And now where it looks like we're heading back towards the 50 moving average, breaking below there, that opens the door to the 200 moving average yet again. So yes, this still has been building up for higher momentum the last few months, but at this current stage, we have a triple top here and breaking below the 200 that could open the door back towards the lows here. And that could indicate that we may see um, a change in the market that this bear uh, market has come to an end and we go back towards um, to a uh, bullish, more bullish market as uncertainty has uh, gone out the window at this point. If you look at the MACD is still um, bullish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish. So momentum is changing to the downside. Look at the 10 year, it fell off a cliff today. It was significantly overstretched. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band here. So we may see this pull back towards the 50 moving average where we found support um, only a few uh, weeks ago uh, and then continue higher. But breaking below the 50 moving average, that opens the door back towards the lows here and then the 200 moving average, which we have down here. If you look at MACD, is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, CR. New videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.